In this video, I want to compare the older Viva Control Touch Radio versus the newer Viva Control Evo Radio. The only difference I noticed uh, just looking at the models is that the older model, uh, the, the Touch, has a, a pretty uh, red uh, a V and the V on the um, Evo Radio tends to be uh, darker. I purchased this Vivar Control Touch Radio back in 2018, so it is possible that there may have been different iterations of this radio, but this radio um, does not come with um, uh, boots, whereas the new uh, Vivar Control Evo radio comes with these uh, removable uh, boots. I guess there's a little bit of a, a glue there. Looking at it from the back, they're both very similar. They both have the same uh, handle. The only difference is that the, the touch has the bare handle. And here the Evo comes with this uh, plastic component that makes it uh, a little easier to uh, grip. Uh, but this plastic component is, um, is a separate piece. Like I can take it out from the Evo and put it on the touch just th the same way. Other than that, they both uh, share the same uh, power button. There is the USB uh, cover, and there is this um, other uh, cover here. Now, what's different is that on the touch, the um, there is actually the little um, plug-in for the um, power uh, port. Whereas uh, on the Evo, this is just uh, an this is just empty. Uh, there's a, you don't plug anything here, so you, you basically you just keep the cover on at all times. As far as the USB, uh, the um, well, let me take this one off from here. The uh, touch uses uh, the older micro uh, USB drive. Or is it mini USB? You uh, mini USB uh, connector. Apologize. And the uh, newer uh, touch uses uh, the more common uh, USB-C that you see nowadays. The only problem, well, and this is good. The USB-C is good. Uh, the only problem with uh, this one is that it's actually pretty deep in the in that crevice, and the crevice is kind of narrow. So not all uh, USB-C uh, connectors will actually fit. Um, the, uh, for instance, the, uh, the Apple uh, USB-C connectors will fit, but um, the uh, Amazon uh, uh, Basics uh, um, USB-C connectors will not fit inside. As far as weight, this older uh, touch came with a two 1S 4000 uh, batteries, so basically uh, 1S 8000 pack, if you think about it in those terms, and the weight is 974 grams. Of course, uh, it will be heavier if you put the dual 6000 milliamp hour packs. The touch, uh, I'm sorry, the Evo is a little lighter. Now this came with uh, one lithium ion 7,000 milliamp hour pack, and this is the only 914 grams. So it is lighter weight. So the inner mechanics of the gimbals seem to be the same between the Touch and the Evo. However, the actual stem, it's uh, longer on the Touch and shorter on the Evo. So um, if you uh, measure this uh, uh, stem here, uh, this is actually 23 millimeters long. The threaded part is 13 millimeters long and the, the base is only 10 millimeters. Uh, here, the, the base continues to be at uh, 10 millimeters, uh, but the, the whole length of the uh, stem is 19 uh, millimeters. And you can see the threaded part is only nine, mm, nine millimeters long. So again, so 19 millimeters long total and 
nine milli nine millimeters for the threaded part compared to 23 millimeters long instead of 19 millimeters so 23 millimeters long and 13 millimeters for the threaded part uh, as opposed to nine millimeters here so here i have both the touch and the evo connected to the computer and when you look at the capacities so this is the evo and here you notice that i have a uh, 133 megabytes I, you know, I, and I only have 45 megabytes available, all right? Uh, whereas with the uh, Evo, now we're talking, we're in the gig, gigabyte range, and I have uh, 3.9 gigabytes, and I still have 3.88 gigabytes available. So again, you know, we're in the megabyte range for the touch and in the gigabyte range for the Evo. Just for the fun of it, let's see how fast each one turns on and connects to the internet. Uh, this is the touch, this is the Evo. Um, so I'm, I'll do my best, you know, I'm not a squid, so I'll have to do these uh, uh, separately. So I'm gonna turn the touch on. All right, and let's turn the Evo on. All right, let's see. So the Evo is already uh, connected to the internet and ready to go. Okay, so you can see that right there. And also with the, um, I think, uh, whatever this is called, the home link or whatever this is. Okay, so now the the touch is actually uh, connected to the, uh, to the internet and ready to go. Uh, so this is faster. This is fast enough. Uh, so not, not a problem there. If you guys have any questions about what we have discussed so far between the Touch and the Evo, I would be more than happy to answer them. I may even consider making a part two of the video if necessary. Otherwise, thank you for watching.